Okay, everybody out there, I got some new information on the Surface Book in Photoshop. If you've seen my previous videos, I complained about Photoshop because I felt like the Surface Book was pushed to get ahead of the Apple, the uh, what is it called? Apple Pro or something like that, okay? So, I'm just finding out from calling Adobe and talking to Microsoft on the telephone that one of the main problems they have is that the graphic processor, well, Microsoft didn't say this part, but Adobe did, that the graphic GPU inside of the Surface Book that supports the GPU, so I guess only the people that have the Surface Book that has a GPU in there, is interfering with the integrated graphic card or something and is kind of screwing up things. So with that said, Adobe and Microsoft pretty much told me that you have to go to control panel, then you want to go to the NVIDIA control panel, then you want to switch from the NVIDIA graphic card that's inside your keyboard to the integrated graphic card. Now there's another option where you can choose which program uses the NVIDIA graphic card, but don't do that. Just disable it. Or not disable it, but just switch to the integrated graphic card. Okay, if you're using Photoshop, they're going to fix it. It might be fixed tomorrow. It might be fixed next week. I'm not sure or whatever and stuff, but that's kind of bad news, but at the same time, that's some really good news, because Photoshop, it was horrible on a surfing book, but now the lag, the lag was so horrible, I say the lag cut down by like 70%, okay, 70% of the lag is gone, okay, so if you're doing it on a scale like it was 100%, now it's a 70% better, okay, Corel Painter, and sketchbook you have to understand those two programs they actually built them not saying Corel Painter has always been built for tablets but they optimized their software for the surface book the sketchbook and Corel Painter I mean they really optimize it like Corel Painter has has options under its um, preferences for Wacom, Wacom, or Wacom, however you guys say it, they have options for that and they have options for the Surface Book and Surface Pro or like pretty much any other tablet, but mostly pretty much the Surface Book and Surface Pro. Like right now I'm on the um, Surface Book talking to you guys, like a good example of Corel optimization is that when you flip it and you turn it around the um, the actual tablet portion of the laptop Corel Painter automatically switches it to tablet mode so it switches all of the menus they switch to like a tablet form Photoshop isn't doing nothing like that you know um, um, sketchbook they don't have to do that because theirs were actually built for Android phones you can just use it on your laptop and your desktop also so with that said they fixed one of the main problems was the brush strokes were so slow everything is so fluently now in Photoshop do other software that do digital painting are they brushes more accurate? Yes, but you have to understand, once they fix the graphic card, it should be up to par with Corel Painter and Sketchbook. So that's pretty much all I wanted to um, get off my chest is don't forget, switch it. And just for sake of whatever stuff, this is my setting. I switched it through the control panel and switch it to the integrated graphic card so it no longer uses the NVIDIA until it get fixed. Then I went into Photoshop and I switched um, under Edit, Preference, Performance. I switched it to Advanced Mode so it can take very good use of my integrated graphic card and stuff like that. And it's flying right now. So that's the tip of the day for Surface Book. I hope you guys enjoy.